Laurie Savage isn't a novice when it comes to doing business online. You do your shopping, mm -hmm. banking? Banking, everything. They also here. The executive assistant had followed all the internet security rules and thought her transactions were safe until she tried to buy something with her bank card. And they told me it was declined and I was quite shocked about that. Savage went straight to her bank. Three thousand dollars was gone. And he pulled up my account on the screen and he said, I hate to tell you but you are the next victim of identity theft. This advanced form of identity theft is called phishing, where cyber criminals lure you into letting them into your computer to fish for sensitive information. And the fishers have caught plenty as they cast an ever wider net. In the last year, attacks are up 4,000 percent, costing consumers up to one and a half billion dollars. You've probably seen the most common phishing attack, an email like this usually urging you to reconfirm your account information. Don't click on that link. It will take you to a bogus internet site that looks like the real thing. They're so sophisticated that even computer security experts sometimes have a hard time telling the real ones from the fake ones. Once you type in your password, you've opened your account to the cyber thief. Many believe to be connected to organized crime. But Lori Savage always deletes those pesky emails. So how did they do it? It's all happening invisibly in the background. Internet security expert Mike Weider thinks Savage may have been hooked by a new kind of phishing called keyboard spyware. That's sneaky software hidden inside emails or programs that you download from the web. The spyware then watches every keystroke you make. Keystroke loggers are extremely dangerous. Wider's company, Watchfire, sells computer security software to corporations. And I type in my password. At the bottom of the screen, Wider showed us what the fisher sees and what you can't. And it's actually logging the keystrokes, and now your information is in the hands of some hacker. And that's even more dangerous because you don't even have to respond to an email anymore. It's just happening in the background and watching what you do. Banks and retailers are working to limit phishing, but quietly, to avoid scaring away customers like Savage. I will continue to shop online. I'm an avid shopper, but I will be more cautious. But every fix brings a new lure and another chance of being the fisher's next big catch. Randall Pinkston, CBS News, Alexandria, Virginia.